Hello and welcome to this week's What's Hot and in the first week of May it is the mining, hospitality, tourism, leisure and biotech sectors which are the most active all ahead of that key date, May the 17th, when indoor hospitality of sorts will recommence in England. Well, speaking of mining, one jeweller does not a sector make. I am talking about Pandora. It is the world's largest jeweller. It says it will no longer sell mined diamonds and will switch to exclusively laboratory made diamonds. Though little reaction from diamond miners. Rio Tinto Anglo-American Anglo -American revealing it's paid £25 billion in taxes in the past year. And Gem Diamonds this week announcing the recovery of a high quality 254 carat type 2 white diamond. That from the Letson mine in Lesotho. Letson being the highest dollar per carat kimberlite diamond mine in the world. And one of the keys to reopening international travel is the success of COVID-19 vaccines and tests. So we learned this week that Paré Tech Limited is working with the University of Sheffield and it's got some results. They demonstrate the potential performance advantage of the Paré Tech test over lateral flow tests and data is now being shared with commercial partners and potential licensees. Well, the shares in Investee company Braveheart Investment Group, they dipped on the news. However, as one billboarder posted, the whining game is aim. However, data from chartered accountancy firm UHY Hacker Young shows that London's junior market has weathered the pandemic storm quite gracefully. Only seven companies leaving AIM due to financial stress or insolvency in 2020, while businesses have become attractive M&A or merger and acquisition targets. Well, HMRC, or Her Majesty's Revenue and Customs, has joined the line of duty bandwagon or hype, and it is hell-bent on capturing the OCG, or organised crime groups. So HMRC's Statement of Assets form will now include explicit demands for information on cryptos like Bitcoin and Ethereum and other assets, including those commonly used by organised crime. And the fourth man, or H, did you guess it was Buckles? Until next week's instalment. Stay well.